So guys, there's Greer Wolf. We are driving down the road and he happens to see some chert. <laughs> he had to jump out and grab some. So we're collecting rocks as we go. <laughs> oh man, this is too funny. We're on a road trip this time. Oh man, <laughs> look at that. You're gonna have to put those in the back or I'm gonna get in trouble. Hey, you don't find this kind of stuff in Kansas, boys. So guys, I'm on another outing with Mr. Greer Wolf. Mama, ladies. <laughs> and we were tracking our way in to find the camp. And I know you guys probably can see it right there, but we're camping with Terry. And he's over here waiting for us to get there. But, uh, yep, we're gonna hike on. So guys, made it to the top of this hill here. It's definitely different from where I'm used to. And I know it's a little dark outside, but I wanted you to see this view. I know it probably doesn't come out like normal, but it's definitely the highest hill in the area. It's pretty cool. A lot of mullein stock all the way across that edge right there, which you'll get to see later. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and set up camp. It's getting dark, so probably won't film much of any of that. And you guys have seen me do that a lot, so. Hey guys. Take care. So good morning, everybody. I thought I'd take this chance to go ahead and pan ram the uh, campground here since it's daylight now. Justin is still sleeping. Well, kinda. But <laughs> Ain't no sleeping after your snoring. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got our tarps all set up here. Justin told me I gotta go camp out <laughs> about a quarter mile from here. I don't understand why. Don't worry, because tonight I'm going to get audio of that. <laughs> you got like night vision on your stuff? Nope, but you're going to have a light shining right in your face. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, the, the one on the right is my hammock, and the one on the left there is Justin's. And this one over here is Terry's. <laughs> I told you I was going to cut your straps. <laughs> Anyways, out here, to where I wanted to show you all that mullein is. Just kind of neat when you find a big patch of things like that. Because, of course, then you know there's just a ton of hand drills out here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but yeah, everywhere. Kind of just goes all the way over that way. Pretty cool. Very cool, actually. Well, I'm going to have breakfast and I'll be right back. So I was just walking around up here on this hill. And this too almost looks like an arrowhead to me. I mean, I don't know. It's definitely not a perfect piece of any sort, if it is. But it kind of looks like it's been worked to me. I don't know, guys. Either way, kind of cool. I'm going to take it back to camp, show the other guys. Crazy reptile, man. Looking for turtles. We got one. <laughs> we're getting ready to nab this big snapper right here. Oh, great. You're not really going to touch a snapper, are you? You're dang right I am. So I can see where his head is. 
You're a nutcase. Can't spot his head. You don't want to grab him by the side. You gotta grab him from the rear end. Huh. That'd be easy to get the wrong end. <laughs> there you go. Piss him off. Fuck him with the stick. There he is. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you are crazy, man. Did you just step on him? Yep. Oh, crikey. You should see the expression on your face, man. <laughs> Run! Are you feeling for his rear? Yeah. Oh, snap, man. I got away. Dad gum. You had him. That's for sure. They look like a pretty good size one. I still, I could have probably still got him. I just didn't feel like getting my socks soaked. It ain't deep. <clears throat> That's crazy. Slipped off me. Bad gummit. That's all right. There might be another one around here. I'm sure there is. Wait for you to jump in after a water snake or something. Watch out for the copperhead. I think there's an alligator in there. Well, I'd be after him too. <laughs> Part of me wanted to see you get one, and part of me didn't. <laughs> Slipped off his back shell. Can't get a hold of his tail. You're probably not too far out there. <laughs> no, I haven't seen any. I haven't seen him bubble yet. This is crazy compared to where I'm used to. I mean... You can't see where the bottom of the floor is any further than 10 foot in front of you. It's pretty dense out here. It's pretty cool too. Be easy to get turned around in these woods. Real easy. So I definitely stumbled across another plant I'm not used to here in Kansas. I'm sure this would be easier to look up once it's flowering, but these are seed pods on top. That is so weird. Definitely cool. I'll have to look that up. It's Justin and Terry going down towards the pond at this moment. Kind of disappear in this land. It's so hilly. Cool though. Oh, there's some bass in here. I've, we've already seen them. Maybe. Pretty cool. So 
this is the bigger pond. I said there's fish in here, but definitely would have to see. It's a pretty decent sized pond for sure, I mean, for whatever we'd use it for. Very cool. So while Terry and Justin are getting a good laugh at my fishing skills since I caught this one on the top of the head, I was trying out my fishing kit that I have. And I was having some issues casting it, but finally got it out into the water and got two bites the second time. It was this little tiny head catcher. <laughs> Kind of work it kind of slow there and jig it a little bit. Yeah, that line's probably got a bad memory of that wrap, too. That's the one you wanted out there. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted that one. <laughs> that would be spooky, getting one this big. Because I, I don't know, that little one was pretty big. Yeah, that's okay. All right. There you go. No, it's, it is fun. This is, I was going to say, this is, <laughs> this is playtime for men right here. What are you talking about? What's fun is there's so much fish in this thing. It's like, I'm telling you, if you take them shoes and socks off and just go out there a little bit, you're going to I was just fun. walking in it with my shoes and socks on. This is a great pond for kids. Oh, I bet. Man, they catch them left and right and just have a ball. I have to bring my daughter up here sometime. Oh, absolutely. She's been wanting to go real bad. And a pond like this is a rarity to find. You know? So. This is what I call a fisherman's knot. <laughs> I think I, oh, I did. I left my waterproof casing that can. I'd put the GoPro, I'd go out in the water with the GoPro. Oh, that, that would be neat. There. Huh? That would be neat. And, uh, film you bringing it in. That'd be cool. Good lord, this is going to take my eye. Hey, that's a good one.
Yay. Yay. Good stuff, man. <laughs> that. Right. Killing it, huh? <laughs> hey, I got this one in the lip this time now, dang it. I don't know if you guys are going to believe this, but uh, that's literally like the fourth time Travis has cast. <laughs> that is this cool. pond is full of bass. Terry told us that it was full. Nice. Ain't very big, but it's definitely edible. What was that, a bee or something? <laughs> I don't know, but the fact that it's on camera just makes me grin. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> There's another one. Not very big, but definitely edible. Good. So anyway, I switched lures. I'm gonna go ahead and try this little grasshopper here. The other one was working fine, but I just thought I'd try this different one to get it closer to the top to float more. Ha <laughs> ha! Terry fell! Ha ha! Ha ha! Terry fell! Yeah! Man down! Yeah! Not, not the only one. Yeah, but my, my rope didn't break. I just fell over. Oh, okay. I don't count, does it? No. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. I, I missed it, but at least I got some of it. You can try it again. <laughs> I'm good this time, thanks. I also want to see what happens if you snore too much. Your little camp buddy decides to leave you. <laughs> He's moving out. Look at this. He's moving camp on me. Yep. What kind of buddy is that? Going a quarter mile away. What in the world? I offered to move though. I really did. Look, he's so leaving. Long, Mr. Snore Bear. Good gravy. All he's taking is a little haversack. <laughs> and he's going way over there. Oh man, he's disappearing in the trees. So I had the bright idea that I was just gonna try to take and go up a different way. Kind of bushwhack per se. Doesn't seem like it was a good idea anymore. It's just so dense through here. May not be coming out on film, but it's just so thick. Yeah, I'm still gonna give it a try. Oh well. So as of right now, it's not looking any thinner out here. It just seems to be getting denser. I mean, I don't even have to squat and I'm pretty much nobody can see me. Well, I'll trudge through this. Let's see. So guys, I've got up the hill far enough now that I can see some a field of mullein stalks. There's a pokeweed right there. Just turning. I've got mullein stalks here. Definitely change the tone of it all. Seems like it's gonna be a little bit easier to hike, but is it? I don't know. Gotta figure out where the top of this thing is. <coughs> so Terry's giving it a try for his first time on bow drill. Okay, try to brace, try to brace your wrist up against your shin the best you can. I'm gonna hit you in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
fucking left. Might not be. Who's that knife? If you play with the stalking wolf, you might buy the stalking wolf. <laughs> I might get permission for that. <laughs> I want on that list so bad. I want on that list bad. <laughs> I already got one. How sad is that? Yeah, it's my knife. <laughs> I want back on the list. I thought about actually having another one made, Travis, and putting a nothing more than a collector's piece. One that just didn't get used, you mean? Yeah, uh, one with like a mirror finish on it. Yeah. And like a really exotic wood handle. Mm-hmm. But I'd end up using it. <laughs> so I'm just not going to do that. How uh, deep and round does this really need to be? Um, it doesn't really need to be that deep as long as your um, spindle will actually ride in it. You should be able to get that started on that. So guys, Terry has done a bow drill and he's got a coal. And this, this is his our duty out of breath. Yes, sir. First bow drill fire that I know of. And like idiots, we didn't have the camera rolling. Yeah. Open it up a little bit, it's starting to smother. Gee whiz, damn, isn't it? Yay! Good job, Good job. man. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Get all oh once. man, that is so awesome. Good job. I'm really excited. Thank for you, you for helping me Good with that. Good job, man. Thanks, Great Travis. Job. Here's your handle. <sighs> The shape, the red. So there's a black widow. It's a female, by the way. I don't even know if it's coming out on film. Oh, dude. Spooky. Ugh. So, guys, this is just down here on the ground next to my hammock and this is a locust that has went through its molting stages 
and whatnot. And I seen it when it first crawled up out of the ground or whatnot. It's kind of neat. It's very neat. That is cool. Just coming out. Well, guys, I just wanted to show you that. It's kind of taking some time with it, but I still think it's kind of neat. I just wanted to show you this marker that was up here. Um, they said that he said he was telling me about this being the spot where they surveyed the area around here because it's the highest point, and it's marked point blank. And I guess there was also a homestead up here. This is obviously a newer rock than what was here before. This one replaces an old one from what I understand. But it's pretty cool. Any better. That's right. Hell of an arm block, huh? Yeah, that's off of the woods. He was over.